Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Evil Within. Let's see if we can actually uh, complete the game now. We're on the final run, and man, um, it's, yeah, this bit's a bit tough. I was looking up some things on this no upgrade run, and apparently it's recommended that you do it on easy. I was like, ah, well, a uh, bit late for that, chief. <laughs> but you know, I'm sure we'll get there. Uh, it's just a matter of getting this guy, this guy. I kind of want to try and disable these explosives. Because here's the thing. Oh, okay, we can actually reach through the bars and grab those. That might save us some time, actually. Yeah, no. Uh, okay, what else can we grab? We can grab you. Let's load that up. So... The sniper rifle is what we're going to have to heavily lean on here, I think. Um, do we have any freeze ammo? We've got one. Ah, uh, God. <sighs> is it what? I don't know, man. Well, let's just try. Let's try it. See what happens. The problem is two of them. Although, luckily, when there's two of them, they're kind of easy to avoid. Um, the trouble is when there's more than two of them. Ah, not when there's more than two of them, you stupid idiot. Because there's never more than two of them. Words are hard. I can actually grab the shotgun shells here. Alright. I mean, we're about as loaded as we possibly can be. Uh, yeah. I'd, I guess... We just we're just gonna give it the old the old college try. I don't know what a college try is, but here we go. Come on. Okay. Right, let's shoot this one first. Now obviously we can't uh, we can't manage them too well. But, hopefully. That's it. That might actually help us here. Oh no, he's coming around that way. Come on. Come on, douche nozzle. No! No! Run! Okay, that's fine. That's actually fine. Really? How hard is it to shoot that? Honestly. Out of ammo. How hard is it to shoot that fucking bomb on the wall? Is he dead? He's not dead. Why would he be dead? You fool. Right. Uh, rifle. Let's go for the rifle. I'm not sure which one we've been shooting. Let's share the bullets out between them. Why would you want to share the bullets out? Well, hopefully. Oh, God. Hopefully. By sharing the bullets out. Ow. Right. They will both be weak. Now, let's use a medical kit. All right. And then if we could stumble in the right direction, Sebastian. This is going to hurt quite a lot. Yeah, this, this lasts way too long. Come on, man. There we go. Alright. What have we got? Come on, what have we got, man? What have we got to use? What do we have here? Oh, Jesus. I mean, we kind of don't really have anything. Okay. Uh, right. Let's get another freeze bolt. Alright, that actually worked somewhat okay. Come on, what have we got? What have we got? Really? We really have nothing. This is problematic. 
So we've got one more freeze bolt left. Oh, great. Yeah, cheers, pal. You are a penis, aren't you? Can we? Nope, of course we can't. Hey, friend, a little help. Oh, that's a one-hit kill. If he catches you. Right. All right. Um... Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. That took me bloody ages. Ah, but it's done. But it is done. I wonder if the damage that you do to the enemies is slightly, and I do mean slightly, um, randomized. Quite possibly. Alright, so what have we got left? We've got one mega health. We've got one syringe, but there's another one there. Is it worth taking that syringe? Maybe, because 
There we go. At least we'll have full health then. Right, I believe that, from what I can remember, is like the hardest part of the game. Oof. Oh man, wait a minute, what was this bit? Rubik. I created this world. You cannot keep me here. Uh huh. Well, I mean, he's not wrong. He did create this world. And. Sort of the system. I remember this is. Yep. From what I can remember, the only thing that happens if you get hit by the light, if memory serves, is you get sent back to the beginning, I believe. Not 100% sure. Yeah, alright, well, apparently we, apparently we hit one of the lights. Oh, okay, that's fine. Let's just get through this as quickly as we can and we're stuck because that's always fun getting stuck on the environment um all right cool yeah man you little eyeball bastard hopefully we can poke him in the eye Sooner rather than later. Oof. Hey, we got a checkpoint. I like checkpoints. They mean we don't have to endlessly repeat the same shit over again. Ooh, oh, damn it. Son of a bitch. Oh, hang on. Okay. We can choose one side or the other. I mean... Oh, hi. Hello. Bit naughty. A little bit naughty, that. Can we disarm these? Doesn't look like it. Why would we be able to disarm these? That... Ah. And apparently the light goes out of those boundaries. Oh, okay. Careful now. Oof. Not quite sure how we avoided that, but I'm glad we did. Oh. Hey! What? What did we touch? I'm calling bullshit on that. I'm calling large quantities of bullshit on that. Right, okay. Here we go. Yeah, this final um this final level is Yeah, it's one of those really small hard to disarm ones. Is way more anus than I remember. To be honest. It definitely, uh, it's one of those final levels that just feels like a chore. It's like a long gauntlet of just shit. But then I suppose, uh, I suppose that kind of makes sense. Kind of. Not quite like um, in Resident Evil, for instance. Where the final stretch, oh yeah, brilliant. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Starts you off looking in the wrong direction. We're dead. Yeah, that's great. No indication of when the cutscene has finished. At all. Ah, God damn game. I thought you were better than this. I really did. Alright, let's go. Run. 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 Oh, hello. Bit of blood. Like, are we controlling that? Like, the way it just pulls the control away from you. Like, uh, are, are we are, are we still going? Like, eh? 
Oh, game. Anyway, we made it. Now, is there anything that we can grab? Any goodies? Any goodies? See, the thing is, you know, um, I still, I still say that this is a good, fun-ish game. It's definitely aged. It, you know, it's crusty. It's got a lot of design problems. But, you know, if you're just playing it normally, it's quite a bit of fun, I think. But it certainly is um, nowhere near the top echelon of survival slash horror slash horror action games. Action horror, I believe, is the new phrase. In fact, it's definitely kind of somewhere near the bottom. But, you know, not every game can be perfect, I suppose. I think when it came out, it was pretty good. Because we didn't really have a hell of a lot at the time. And I think that's why it did so well it, with the reviews and things. Even though it had a whole range of technical issues. And the story is just bananas. And not the good kind of, of bananas either. It's just really preten pretentious and... Ass. And I would say the gameplay itself. Alive, I'm never in an again. The gameplay itself is serviceable. You know, it's fine. But I think going forward, this a this game is going to rapidly, rapidly age. All right. Oof. Yep. All these brains are collect Joseph. connected. Joseph. Yep. They're all in the brain goo stuff. The white goop. Not sure if that's supposed to be water or if it's something else. Everybody's here. It can't be. Yep. That's what's going on here. We're all connected. just some rookie detective and this is not just some ordinary kid you killed Joseph and you shot me so right at this moment that's enough reason for me not to trust you mm -hmm. you're a good man that's why I it doesn't matter anymore if you know who this kid is if you know anything you know why he can't be allowed to live bullshit it's Rubik. He's the one that... Did. Well, that's bad.
Yummy. Oh, time to run. Or not. <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll find a, uh, a large truck with a machine gun attached in the not too distant future. Like we have infinite sprint now. All right, there we go. Just keep running, just keep running. Oh, oh, nope, 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 nope. He did the same. He did the same pattern twice, damn it. The same pattern twice, you son of a bitch. Right, hide. I mean, this is pretty trivial to avoid. Alright, that'll do. That's fine. Uh, run! Must keep running, must keep running, must keep running. Must run faster. This is definitely not the time to fall over now, Sebastian. Also, that creature must care deeply for its uh, all hygiene. It's uh, got braces. How about that? Hey, bit of luck. Thanks for the Hummer. I don't mind if we do. Let's go to work, Sebastian. This is definitely some Resident Evil BS right here. Hey. Open that brain cage up. Oh, can we shoot me in the nutsack? I mean, we can, but I don't think it does anything. Very large testicle sack there. Come on, Ruvik. What do you think of my rather large cannon here, big boy? The one thing that he didn't count on. <laughs> I can't take this monster seriously. <laughs> it does remind me of that um, end part of, well, not end part, the turret section in Revelations. That's another game that's aged awfully. That's going to sting. Good thing we've got a medical pack. Thanks, pal. It's very kind of him. You're one of the good ones, dude. Alright, now here, we actually have very limited ammo. So let's wait for this bastard to get as close as possible. Wait until we can smell his breath. Well, maybe not that close. A little bit too far away. Come on. You need to hit him in the brain. Come on. Oh. Yep. Hitting him in the brain is a bit of a challenge. Not sure how many times we need to hit him in the head. 
And we are running out of RPGs, which is not great. Nope, he's going down again. Missed. Oh, only twice. At least that brain is a rather soft man. Oof. We get a front row seat of that. Yummy. There's Ruvik. I created this world. You cannot keep me here. So all along, Ruvik. He just wanted to get out, but his brain is in a jar. I to finish this. He just wanted to use Leslie as another body to download his consciousness into. Well, pretty sure the brain will die without its life support system. It's generally how it works. Oof. Vital sign, sir. Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. No one can. Yeah, that ending's a bit weird. You can tell we're back in the real world because all the organic nonsense has gone. It's just a machine. Our friend. A good doctor. Die in the machine, you die in real life, apparently. I need a lot of therapy after that. Go, go, go! Uh, detective, are you alright? Is there anyone else? Just 
Give me some real fresh air. Not actually sure if he's still in stem there because you could hear that high pitched um, static, which is uh, the stem signal. Because the stem signal was, uh, or that particular stem system was wireless. If you, you don't need to be directly plugged into it, which is how. Um, they all kind of got got as soon as they turn up at Beacon. Which is why a lot of the Beacon responding, um, well, when they responded to Beacon in the beginning of the game, never really made a lot of sense why there was a whole, you know, complete um, officer wipeout and obviously some serious shit going down at Beacon and only like three officers turn up. Yeah, that's because that was all, you know, they were already under the influence then. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, the story itself, like, it's... Uh, it's not really my cup of tea. I prefer something that's a lot less direct. Um, but, yeah, it was... It was right, I guess, if you're into that, that sort of thing. The gameplay of this game, though, that's where it's really really aged poorly um, it's interesting like going back to these old games just to see how much movement has evolved um, and I think one of the reasons why we were so easy on it when this game first came out as well is because I mean look at Resident Evil um, apart from 6 we don't talk about 6 but apart from that one all the others still had the uh, tank controls, really. You had to stop and shoot and stuff like that. This was like the first time we could actually fight and move. Uh, actually, I think they kind of did mercenaries on the 3DS as well. You could, kind, you could sort of move and shoot in that one if memory serves. But that was not a good game at all. Could have been. Could have been a very good game if it had some actual content and not just like a couple of maps and that was it. Um, yeah. But I think that's the biggest thing with this game. I mean, it's not really survival horror either, I wouldn't really say. It's more action horror. Uh, you're supposed to have weapons and fight the enemies. Um, you know, uh, your gun isn't really your, your last resort. It's your main way of defending yourself. Uh, you can run and hide in this game as well, but I don't really ever see a reason to do so. Yeah, uh, it's definitely, definitely age. Having said that, I would never play this game again um, with these restrictions, because again, that to me personally, that takes all of the fun away because you're removing all of the fun mechanics that you can experiment with and, you know, that feeling of increased power. Uh, all that's gone. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's a very average game. But we have so many, so many better games these days when, uh, obviously, this came out back in 2000... What was it? 2013, 2014? In a very poor, unoptimized state. 
Um, <laughs> it dropped in, yeah. It just a mm, mm, little bit, little bit crusty. Um, I overlooked a lot of its problems because, man, I just really wanted to enjoy this game, and I did. I, I, you know, at the time, I really did. It was fun. You know, with the new game plus, leveling up your character, getting all the best weapons and all the unlockable weapons and stuff like that. It was good. Fun. Uh, the characters in this game are just not great, really. I mean, Sebastian, your main character, I mean, if you don't pick up all of the logs, I mean, you get like virtually no background on him at all, apart from the fact that he's a detective and he's just just not a very likable character to be honest uh his background stuff is all fluff and nonsense anyway it's not really that interesting at all um they could have fleshed it out they could have made it better you know by just adding more to it uh ruvik the main you know the main baddie is just really lame he's not that interesting at all I mean, what can you say about the support cast? Like, Joseph. Joseph is, like, a non-character, really. Apart from the fact we know his name and he's um, Sebastian's partner. Again, there's just no development there whatsoever. Kidman. I mean, Kidman, there's obviously a lot more to her, which you get in the DLC. She's probably the most fleshed-out character, but only if you really play the DLC. Um, you know, she's fine. She's a mysterious, not quite Ada Wong-esque character, but close enough. But obviously, you know, not even on the same level as my girl Ada. But I enjoyed that. That was good. That was fun. It only really got that difficult towards the end. Uh, only really when we were fighting Boxman, or Safehead, or whatever he's called. That was the... Yeah, that was probably the only part that was genuinely difficult. Most of the difficulty didn't necessarily come from the fact that your weapons didn't do a lot of damage. It came from the fact that you just couldn't hold a lot of ammo and you couldn't sprint. You couldn't hold medikits either. Like, the amount of stuff that we had to leave behind because we just couldn't pick it up was kind of anus. But that's the main difficulty of the game. I mean, this game, by design, old Shinji Mikami, you know, Mikami, I should say, uh, did say he went out of his way to make the game, um, you know, challenging. But it was supposed to be uh, oddly balanced for the easiest difficulty, which I still think is a really odd choice because most games are balanced for um, the normal difficulty. And then they just cheaply dial up the difficulty on the harder modes. And, you know, or, the, or to make the game easier, they'll just, you know, massively buff you in relation to the enemies. Uh, which neither is really my cup of tea. I don't really like playing my games on super easy, and I don't really like playing my games on hard either. I like the, the standard middle of the road challenge. Um, or however I suppose the developer, uh, you know, wanted you to play the game. And that's apparently easy. I don't know, maybe I'll do an easy run on this, just for shits and giggles, just to see how much different it actually is. Maybe, but I probably won't. <laughs> but the thing is, you know, is this game still worth playing? I think so. I think if you want to play like a survival horror or action horror, that's... Uh, I mean, it it is sort of its own thing. I think it's worth a shot. Just go in with tapered expectations. It's fine. It's just, you know, it's not going to blow you away or anything like that. And on the consoles, this game really does run awfully as well. Not sure about on the, the you know, like the PlayStation 5 and, the, you know, the new Xboxes. I'm sure it's okay, but then it's still going to be 30 FPS. And, yeah, I would say you've got the horrible black borders, but I believe they patched those out. I saw someone defending those uh, in the forums. And, sorry, Chief, you, you can't defend them 
they're awful. <laughs> it's just a terrible idea. You know, I know it's to make the game more cinematic and, you know, it makes it feel more like a movie. It's not a fucking movie. Go watch a movie. This is a video game. Kind of different. You know? Very, very different. Jesus, if you want to handicap yourself that much, just play the game in the letterbox and cut the resolution right down. But anyway, so we've got a new achievement. Um, and we've got the machine gun, which we already have. Well, I have it on my mains. Um, save. We've got the rocket launcher. 50,000 skill points. They actually call the gel skill points. Interesting. Would have thought it was just called green gel. So, how do we do? 85 deaths. Good lord. I mean, it is a decently long game, to be fair. Do we even want to save it? Like, is there any point in saving it? Probably not. Because I've already got a new game. Ah, I guess we'll save it. Why not? Uh, sure. But then we've got to... I mean, I suppose if I ever wanted to start it again, I've got... A lot of gel to spend, I guess. Eh. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, I actually, for what it was, I enjoyed it. I hope you did. And as always, guys, till next time.